Okay, so this will be my third attempt at recreating this audio, or at creating this audio. So this is a tutorial uh, for what you uh, need to do to be able to play with my shader. So just follow the instructions that I'm about to do. First you need to find uh, a reshade preset you, need, you want to download, and hopefully it's mine. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> it can be someone else uh, else's, of course. Um, it's very difficult to talk right now because I'm hearing my own audio, like from the previous recording, because I've just given up on using my uh, recording program. Um, so this is like Windows Voice Recorder. But anyway, so you download it, and you need to have WinRAR, and uh, here you have the preset, uh, and. Uh, uh, to be able to use it in a game, you need to download Reshade. So you just search for Reshade. I will have a link in the description. And um, you go to the bottom, and there is the newest version. So here you can see uh, the games you can install it for. So when you click install, you will see a lot of games. And the game you want to install it for probably is there already. Uh, but you can search in like browse files, uh, but I'll show you later. Um, or <laughs> whatever. Uh, it said that it uses the. Oh god, damn! I'm losing track. Just <laughs> uh, it selects the the graphics engine or whatever for you, the graphics technology, and make sure to check all of the uh, all of the shaders by double clicking on the bottom left, like check and uncheck, no, no opposite, uncheck and then check. And here you can edit the settings, uh, but yeah. So now that we've done that, you need to uh, open the files of the game, which can be a bit difficult to find, but it should be at, uh, it should be at um, local disk. Uh, and then uh, at program files. Uh, times 86 <laughs> uh, for some reason and then you need to go to the bottom because this is in alphabetical order so you go down and uh, click on Steam if that's where you've installed the game I remember that uh, you can do this on a lot of games but not all of them I mean in the installation process uh, anyway so here you go to Steam Maps after you click on Steam and then you go to yeah, yeah Steam Maps and then after that you go to Common which is where your games will be. You can find this information on Steam as well, or search on the internet. Here is the game we'll be trying out, which is Dark Souls Remastered. And here the reshade folder is here, and you can uh, paste the thing you downloaded from my website, or from my mod page, or someone else's mod page, in there. Uh, and here you can see here I put the um, the, um, the WinRAR into the folder uh, though I've already got it there so I kind of skipped that process or skipped that step so now let's launch the game and um, if it's the first time then you will have to click on home the home button on your keyboard and then um, and then uh, skip tutorial and you can go into the key uh, binding like the the key maps thing, <laughs> where um, where you can. Uh, oh my god, I'm so bad. Uh <laughs> okay, just follow what I do on screen. Okay, you see effect toggle. Uh, shift that to scroll lock, and at the and down there it says uh, screen uh, screenshot key. Uh, make that uh, remap that to end. So it's like they are above each other like home and and scroll lock you don't need to you can do it your own way um, so uh, here in the video I'm just explaining this and uh, yeah I don't need to explain that much further I don't have time <laughs> okay so here um, I will be going into oh um, here you have to select the pre pre uh, preset so when you click on on uh, that place up there, you will open the the uh, folders and then just find the 
the Steam Apps folder, find Common and find the game and go into Reshade and then select the preset you downloaded. This is how you select the preset. So here you can see here it's on. Oh, it looks like it's lagging though it wasn't. And there it's off and there it's on and there it's off. So you just press the button to toggle it on and off. Well that's it.